Welcome back to Unwrapped, where we're taking a mintastic journey into the history of a candy called Mentos. Mentos are sold in 150 countries, and while they are certainly good tasting, recently another interesting use has been found for them. Have you seen a Mentos geyser? Well, stand back because a Mentos geyser expert will show you exactly how it works. Meet Steve Spangler, science teacher, toy inventor, and Mentos geyser expert. I'm the guy who popularized it. I'm the guy who took it from the classroom to everybody doing it in the world. All in the name of science. Okay, and fun too. Here's how it works. If you pour a glass of soda and you look at the sides of the glass, you'll see these little tiny bubbles that appear. So those are tiny little imperfections in the glass. And you see the bubbles attached to them. That's exactly what you have to have with the Mentos. So that's the secret. The bubbles are looking for some place to go. The pits that are on the outside of those Mentos, that surface is perfect on all of them. It's just the perfect place to attract all those bubbles and allow them to escape. This causes pressure to build up. All of a sudden you get this eruption. So it's actually the surface of the Mentos that reacts with the soda. But what kind of soda makes the best geyser? Diet. So everybody wants to know why do we use diet? We thought of it because we didn't want to get sticky. And most people don't realize that diet soda is not sticky. Go. The lack of stick was just a bonus. Turns out the artificial sweeteners, along with the preservatives in diet soda, create a bigger reaction. After experimenting with hundreds of Mentos geysers, oh, oh, gosh, sorry, 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 sorry. Steve figured out a few modifications for a bigger blast. The smaller the opening, the more the pressure, and so we get really, really high. So we wanted to find a way to get the Mentos in the bottle and make a real small opening. So what we were doing is actually drilling holes in Mentos. I mean, I have nothing to do on a weekend. And then somehow try to drop them into the bottle it, it was fun, but it was a disaster. And then we came up with this. These actually go inside like this. In order to lock it in place, the little pin goes in like this, and now it's trapped in place, all right? So now this goes on top of the bottle. So now, hooked to the string, I can get out of the way. So here's what's gonna happen. You pull the pin, and when you pull the pin, this guard falls over the hole, so now you don't get drenched at the same time. Three, two, one. So it actually went from a science project to an actual toy that was patented that will hit uh, store shelves in 2007. Three, Steve Mentos geysers can now hit 50 feet high with his new device. That was an awesome one. And his employees are always game for a few geyser test runs. Two, one, drop. Awesome. 